Oh, this is an oldie but a goodie. This is a bag that I got. Oh man. Um, it, it, 1994, I think, maybe. I mean, if I got it in 1995, I would be so super shocked. Like, I think, I, I think I'd already had it for like, a really long time before I worked at the coffee house. Um, it's, it's basically like a tub. It's like a gym bag in a way, if, you, if it was like on this side, because it's like got a round bottom. And this wasn't obviously the original tie, but it goes like this. And then you can either like tie it or the, it was a red lace or it was black, I don't remember, actually, but it like broke a long time ago. And um, it has two little straps, so you can wear it like a backpack. Um, if you have any skills whatsoever in life, which I, I don't know that I do. So it's this little hippie backpack. The thing that is really um, amazing about it is that um, I've had it for so long. And what I used to keep in it um, was whatever journal I was working on at the time, like whatever day book I was working on. So you look at the inside of this. The inside tells you the truth. There's coffee stains. There's ink pen stains. Those are like V-ball, um, like ink pens. There's, like I've washed this like a hundred times, so like there's no more like little scraps of like cigarettes or whatever in there. It's really thick and it's really sturdy. And usually I would actually keep this box of pens in it dust. It was before I had this box, I think, and I had, I don't know if any, it was the pen that goes with these inserts, the, um, the cross pens. They, um, they're just these ink pens, and so I would have my, I would have my pen box, and I would have, you know, my notebook, and and that's what I would go places with and like maybe a book or whatever. We didn't have like cell phones in those days. So basically like my, my bag was full of, um, I was full of cigarettes and hand lotion and maybe some like perfume to like make the smell of cigarettes go away because I was like, in high school. And um, this bag, this right here is a black armband. It was, protesting something in college this black thing it's been on there ever since I don't remember what it was protesting uh, war uh, there, there was a red one on here too it was like protesting like violence against queers and other like there used to be pins on here like I used to put pins all over it and stuff and there's um, there's paint from acrylic paint from when I was painting a lot of the journals. So I bet you that this bag touched a wet journal. And if I really cared enough, I could find the exact journal that this went on top of. But the whole point of this exercise is to let things go. So it just feels kind of great to like open this thing. It's really, really thick. Like really thick. And just to let it, you know, be on the ground, like, next to whatever you're doing, like a table or a desk, it's a little patchwork, so, like, all the pieces are sewn together, like, they're just little patchwork pieces all over, and I haven't used it in a really long time, um, it's probably time to see if somebody else would like to give it a new good home, so, I'm going to put it outside. We have a lot of, like, 
kids in our neighborhood, like school kids. And I feel like it would be really great if one of those kids was to decide that they wanted to have it and, you know, have a rich and illustrious career of writing and poetry and, oh yeah, because that was the other thing I used to keep. I had a writing journal, like a, like a journal journal and a, um, a poetry journal. And I used to keep this in here. And sometimes, like, th I mean, this was my, um, my work for me bag. Like, I would take it with me to work. Like, I would have my, um, my, my work apron or my, um, my other work apron and all the other things that I would, you know, have at work. I rarely kept water in there. I always, like, hold water side with, like, on my side. But it wasn't for school books. This was a bag that was full of writing and reading for myself. So there were no textbooks. There were no notebooks. This was a bag for journals and writing and the special pen that I only used for writing and um yeah so it gave me a lot of years of service probably like four or five years of like straight service and then you know it's just been like a venerated relic after that so it's time to be used again because we don't have a whole lot of room in our lives for things that are venerated relics. And so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to bring it outside and I'm going to see who decides that they want to have it. And that is the story of this bag.